Okay, so it's finally time for an update on the estrogen trials. I suppose most of you already know what you're here for. Uh, we started trying estrogen as a way to treat PSSD, PFS, and PRSD around seven months ago now. So first of all, we've had more than 35 reports of improvements thus far using either estrogen or hops. We've had around 30 trial applications thus far. Of those 30, only around 10 people have followed through. There's four semi-concluded trials that I can report on and six still underway. Three are atypicals, meaning they don't fit the criteria too well or cut their issues from other medications. Now, first of all, in terms of safety, there's been no side effects whatsoever. I've never had anybody report side effects that would have them stop using E2, except one single case of a person whose dry eye issues got worse, presumably from using estrogen. And that person dropped out, unfortunately, quickly after that. We didn't have time to try again uh, slightly differently and uh, see if we can go forward without him getting dry eyes again. In terms of health issues, nobody has presented any health issues whatsoever. I haven't seen any blood work of anyone whose markers were elevated, high blood pressure. We've had nothing like that so far. Well, some people report transient anxiety the first time they use E2 even in small doses, which quickly goes away. And we had nothing else to signify health problems or underlying conditions arising from using estrogen. My own blood work as well, which you'll see soon in the video, indicate the same thing. There's been no negative changes to, uh, my, to anybody's health. Furthermore, and probably even more unexpectedly for some, we've had no gyno at all. Not a single person has used estrogen thus far has gotten gynecomastia, which is it's pretty crazy to consider the amount of estrogen levels that people are working around with. That can be at times three or four times the upper range limit of a female with no gyno whatsoever. So that's uh, unfortunate. There's been no breast growth in this whole time. But, you know, yeah, I'm obviously I'm joking. Nobody has gotten uh, breasts from this. And that was sort of expected, if you ask me, because as we've talked about in the server multiple times, gyno is more of an issue of lack of androgens than it is an issue of estrogen. But that's a debatable subject for another video. Uh, the point is, there's been no gyno thus far, despite using massive amounts of estrogen. Now, in terms of effectiveness, there's been four total improvements, five if you include mine. Some people have responded and improved more than others. However, the worst cases we have are not people who are using estrogen, responding badly to it, and so have to stop. The worst cases we have are just people who are using a lot of estrogen and are not showing a response at all, or are showing just very minor improvements. Now, in terms of the four trials that are somewhat reportable and semi-concluded, I guess I'll give you a short overview of uh, how exactly it went, and then I'll unlock and publicize the channels on the server so anybody that wants to have a more extensive look on what happened can go and have a look in the channels and decide from themselves. The first one dropped out after a few weeks of using E2, and he was only using Valorate. So he used Valorate for a couple of weeks. He saw good enough improvements that he told me he didn't want to mess with things any further in case he may see a regression, and so he felt like stopping. Now, I wouldn't consider the trial concluded this way. However, if one is satisfied enough with progress to just get off of hormones entirely, that's good enough for me. Obviously, I think that's a very positive result. Uh, the second one is a person who was not in communication with me, so I was not following them. They used E2 on their own. He had lasting improvements in his symptoms that had persisted after actually two months of stopping E2 entirely. The third one uh, fit the criteria for PSSD very well. He had probably the greatest results amongst all of them. And although he hasn't been very uh, much communicating with me as often as I'd like lately, uh, we're talking now again to see exactly where he's at and what's left before he gets off of hormones entirely. Uh, the fourth one was about PFS. He started with great improvements by using E2. However, he had trouble probably adhering to instructions, so he made a few mistakes. And then at some point, he went entirely outside of my own suggestions and used something entirely irrelevant to the trial and a fairly high dose of it. After that, he started using E2 again for a good while. He improved and that's where he basically stopped responding. I'm not sure if he has been doing as well as he was initially. I'm not sure at what point he stopped taking everything or not, but he hasn't uh, posted anything in his channel for a good while now. So that's where he left it. So yeah, as you can see, adherence and communication are major factors and major problems with all the trials. But overall, the picture is looking not too bad. 
Moving on, I want to talk about the limitations of these trials thus far and the problems we've run into. First of all, we have adherence problems. So obviously, a lot of people have trouble adhering to the instructions uh, through the course of the trials. Uh, they end up doing things entirely outside of the trials themselves or doing things the wrong way. Yeah, that's been a problem since day one. Second, it's sample size. There's too few people that have tried this thus far. If you consider the amount of people that signed up for it, which is around 30, the amount that actually ended up trying estrogen is somewhat over 10, and half of those cases are atypical cases. So as I said before, they don't exactly fit in too well with everybody else. As a limitation, the types of cases that we get and the sample size is a problem, meaning we, we haven't had enough people try this, not nearly enough, and we don't have the types of cases that we specifically need to see. And that means people that fit the criteria well and have taken one of the suspect medications. Finally, blood work and resources. People obviously have trouble finding everything we need and they also have to pay out of pocket for all of this. And it, it does, you know, it piles up. It's not exactly cheap. So we end up not having as much blood work as we would like to have. We don't have access to all the resources we'd like to have. Obviously, a clinical setting would be ideal. Uh, hopefully, we can get there at some point if we draw enough attention and enough people respond to this. Obviously, we've learned a lot since the beginning of the trials. A lot has changed in terms of how we go about this and what we know now. And now it's only a matter of making the necessary adjustments going forward. The mere fact that men can walk around with four or five times the levels of the upper range of females and show literally no response or very minor response to estrogen is decent enough proof of at least some resistance to its effects. And at this point, it's become obvious that it's not going to be as simple as injecting estrogen for everyone. Uh, some people might respond to that a lot easier than others, but other people might need to first be in a very specific hormonal environment that will allow them to respond to estrogen. And that's what we're trying to do right now. I think considering the progress and circumstances, the prospects look pretty good in the future about getting into work for most people. Obviously, speaking to doctors is the main thing that's in our goals for the future and trying to get this in a clinical setting. So yeah, and one final thing I want to mention is my original post in the PSSD subreddit was deleted by the moderators. Obviously, that's kind of unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. And we'll go on using YouTube from this point onwards. And obviously the Discord server is always there as well. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. Obviously that's all part of future videos. If anybody has got any specific questions they'd like to see answered, they can just uh, let me know in the server or in the comments. I'll probably make a thread for it in the server if there's enough demand for it. I think that should be all for this video. It was just an update on how the trials have been going. So yeah, hopefully we'll be getting even better responses from those that are still underway in the very near future. That's all for now. I'll see you guys again soon.